Eyewitness This Week takes a look at waste management in Lagos State as the government signs the Environment Management and Protection Bill into law. Also, we'll bring you the current state of the Apapa Wharf Road and motorist dilemma. Stay tuned to Eyewitness Report for these stories and more. I'm Chris Elams. If you don't support your environment, there is no way your environment will be able to support you. For this reason, the Lagos State Government signed into law the Environment Protection and Management Bill with the aim of achieving a cleaner Lagos. Now, while the objective of this move is very commendable, some concerned individuals are worried that the state appears not to have recognized their roles in taking Lagos out of the list of the dirtiest cities in the world. So we examine the intricacies of waste management in the state and what the new law means to the PSP operators. Lagos, with a population figure in the range of 20 million residents, generates over 13,000 metric tons of waste daily, which has proven over the years a huge challenge to manage. Industrialization and urbanization over the years resulted in massive waste generation. So much so that the state was classified in the late 70s as one of the dirtiest city capital of the world. This position shifted with the establishment of Lagos State Refuse Disposal Board in 1977, which was later renamed as Lagos Waste Management Agency Loma in 1991. Despite of the efforts put in by government, waste management remained a daunting task as garbage sometimes littered most part of the streets, lagoons and canals. I would like to cast your mind back to um, uh, prior to 1999 uh, and actually maybe, maybe let me start with 1999 so that we don't go back too much in the history. At that stage His Excellency uh, Tunubu, um, well, Ahmed Tunubu inherited the state that has heap of refuse all over the place. The refuse are, are competing with the pedestrian all over the state. It was more as a slum. And Lagos was still one of the worst cities, dirtiest cities in the world, not only in Africa. And that's what he inherited. And, and, and the, the Excellency had to make a decision. Uh, it was considering outsourcing it to a foreign company. And then they gave him a huge amount of bill. And then he has the famous quote that he made. He says, if my people cannot clean their city, what can they do? And he empowered the PSP, who had initially been in existence under a pilot scheme in the previous administration. The introduction of PSP operations to support the cleanup of Lagos gave some bites to environmental sanitation in Lagos, so much so that the state's effort was applauded by the federal government. Over the years, it is clear that Lagos has transformed its image from being one of the dirtiest states to one of the clean states. And we have so many awards to that, to that effect. International Award, Seaman Global gave an award. Um, um, uh, Bill Clinton Foundation gave an award. Um, um, President Jonathan, good luck Jonathan, a PDP government gave an uh, a, 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 a PC or not APC then, uh, an award to recognize that the success of the PSP operation was clearly seen and it breaks any barrier of any political influence. And Lagos right now has moved from one of the dirtiest cities to a clean city. And we are moving on to, it can only get better. In the course of time, the operations of the PSP services expanded with over 300 operators working from street to street, cutting away refuse from home for a fee. <laughs> As waste left the streets, dump sites such as Olusha Sun and Igondo grew. 
and became environmental hazards to their host communities, largely because they were poorly planned, according to these environmentalists. What is obtainable here in Nigeria and in Lagos in general, waste is still being commingled, whereby all kinds of waste, be it plastic, metals, aluminium, organic waste and whatever you talk about are being mixed together. One, what, what, we, what we still use in Lagos is one bin system. Whereas, depending on the part of the world that you are looking at, the list of the bin that you could have is three. You could, you could have the one serving the organic waste, you could have some collecting plastic, you could have some collecting metals, even paper and all that and all that. In some cases, you could have as, much, as, as many as seven different kind of bins collecting different kind of materials because these are materials, not waste. And the more, the, the more you commingle the waste or the materials, the, 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 the bad it becomes. Like in, 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 um, in, in Sweden, right now, in fact, they recycle virtually about 99% of the waste that is being collected. The same thing goes for, 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 for Germany. In fact, since um, some couple of years back, Germany have also banned completely, you know, waste disposal, that is using what you call landfill. And whereas in Nigeria we don't even have a landfill, what we have are, 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 are what you could call disposal sites, are dump sites, which actually um, resulted from either accidentally or whatever. They are just bottled pits that people are just filling waste. And the more you fill waste with those bo into, into those bottled pits, the more you get the underground water contaminated. Because when waste decomposes, it actually releases a whole lot of gases, some fumes. Of course, one of, one of it which, which is commonly known is the methane. Methane is 21 times stronger than the carbon dioxide that we talked about that is causing the, 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 the um, climate change and uh, whatever, you know. So methane is being generated when waste decomposes. Also, when, when, when waste is decomposing, and it is mixed with the rainwater, it produces some substance, a liquid substance that is called leachate. This leachate is also very dangerous, very cancerous. In fact, it is carcinogenic. And this is the same thing that goes down to penetrate with the underground water, the same water table that we drink.